So I've got some plants I'm growing from seed. Uh, it's quite warm in my workshop, however I'm pretty sure when I'm away, which I am quite a lot, it's going to uh, dry out. So uh, it's time to make an online available sensor that means I can know remotely if I need to warm my plants. So IC Station have kindly sent me two sample uh, sample soil moisture sensors. Um, and the way these things work is you feed them 5 volts and uh, ground and they send you a signal back and you can hook these up to an Arduino, so I've got an Arduino here uh, this is an old Uno SMD uh, and I've got a network shield with the SD card again this is an older network shield so it's based around the old WizNet um, or the older WizNet chip but no difference for Arduino and then I've got some wires to hook it all together um, so let's quickly have a look at the specs on these things um, they're pretty generic to be honest but they're also quite small so let's just quickly have a look at the specs so uh, let's go to the website here they are they're very cheap as you can see and uh, here's the specification so they need 3.3 or 5 volt so I'm using 5 volt because my Arduino is 5 volt uh, and they give back a 0 to 2.3 volt reading um, when on a 5 volt supply. Uh, the higher the reading, the more wet the soil is. Um, so it's pretty pretty simple. I'll put a link below. So um, I've quickly written some code that I believe will work. So the way that this code works is obviously we've got uh, a sensor pin, uh, a sensor value, oh, sensor value and then a delay time which is between our readings and then we're going to spit this back out to the computer over serial so serial at number 6k and then the loop is really simple grab the reading store it in sensor value delay a little bit and then we're going to send this value over serial and then we're going to delay again by that delay time between readings because we don't really need to read very fast so let's get this hooked up and then we can start sending stuff. So let's get the 5 volt on ground connected first. 5 volt is in the middle, and then ground on the left if you look from the above. And then we're going to use this yellow one as our signal. So there's just oh, the focus. That's just how it's hooked up that end. And then on oh, on this end, we're just going to put the 5 volt on ground into the rails on the Arduino and then I'm going to use uh, A0 as our analog read pin so just hooked up like so and obviously they go straight through through the riser bit into the board below which is cool and then let's get this plugged in and then let's send that code so let's send it the code. Let's upload the code. Let's upload the code. Uh, done uploading. And let's hook at the serial monitor. So we are getting zero values back, which is what we'd expect as currently this is not touching anything. Uh, if I touch it, so if I create a, these are the two parts of the sensor. So it's clearly reading the voltage across these two contacts as such. So if I put my fingers over both, you can see that starts jumping around in terms of its values that it gives us back. So again, zero when there's nothing, and then when I touch it, it's like 100-ish, various, depending on how hold, how tight I hold it and where I hold it. And I've got this little sponge thing here. I don't know if you can, can hear. I've, um, it's what I use for soldering. But I've put a load of water in it just for now. And if I put this sensor into it, according to the... Uh, information we should get two and a half volts which should give us a reading back of around 512 because the analog on these is 10 bit which means you get a thousand values over a five volt so five volt a thousand divisions if this gives us two and a half we should get about 500 back so if i put it just gently on top we're getting just over 500 550 if i put it underneath let's see what we get which is more typical of it being immersed in sort of soil, getting oh, 600, 800. That's pretty cool. That's how you hook up a soil moisture sensor, which is good. So the next plan is to get this online and, and talking to stuff, hence the network shield with the SD card. 
So I've done something similar where I, I logged from a number of sensors to an SD card. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get it to spit it out using a GET request or a pull request to a server and then I can get that server to email me as and when. So there's there's a little solar sensor. Cool. Thanks for watching and like if you like this. Subscribe if you want to see the next part, I guess. Cheers.